நண்பர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் எல்லோரும் நன்றாக இருப்பீர்கள் திஸ் புரோக்ராம் இஸ் ப்ராட் யூ பை குருஜி டிவி திஸ் யூடியூப் வீடியோ இஸ் அ டிரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஆஃப் த தமிழ் வீடியோ ஆஃப் ஹர் ரெனவுண்ட் அஸ்ட்ராலஜர் ஜோதிஷ் மகாகுரு ஆதித்ய குருஜி The link of the original version that is a Tamil video is given in the description box of this video. This is Astrologer Deepa and I am presenting you the English version of the Tamil video. My heartiest greetings to all my friends. May all live well. I have already published a video regarding white collar crime. There are certain people who live in the society with great dignity but earn in crooked ways. It is not about the share market. There are certain people who are earning in a very crooked way where they exploit others and thus earning money. Many of my followers ask me a question whether they will earn lakhs of money or thousands of crores of money in their life. Many people even question me if they can travel by Rolls Royce or BMW or Benz car. The 6th and 12th house will help a man to take any risk without bothering about the consequences and to earn money in crooked ways. The 6th house signifies the money which belongs to others. The 6th bhava always signifies the money of others. What does it mean when I say money of others? It is gaining profit through lottery tickets. You can't call the share market as the money of others. What is the reason? Because you are investing a considerable amount of money there, but you can call certain fields such as gambling or even multi-level marketing as money of others gaining money as a result of winning the lottery ticket is signified by the 6th house this sort of earning big money belongs to both the 6th house and the 12th house gambling is signified by the 12th house the 6th house signifies money of others there are many who feels that they cheat others in the name of the business like emu birds farming tea good farming or even coconut tree farming even 10 years ago there were people who claimed that they could give 10% interest on fixed deposits in a way claiming to give more interest they will tempt others and make pie in the sky like if the people invest 1 lakh money they will pay an interest of 5000 or 10000 for 1 lakh of fixed deposit money and in addition to this at the end of the 10 months or 1 year they will get a huge amount there are many people who invested all their life savings money or pension money in such schemes and got cheated This is said to be a white collar crime where they earn and enjoy the money of other people. The emu farming or tea good farming are all related to the 6th house. If anybody cheats others very smartly and earns hundreds of crores of money, definitely it is signified by the 6th house. The unexpected profit or gain is signified by the 8th house. When both the 6th house and the 12th house are subhatva, then the person will earn very well in the share market. When the 6th and the 12th house are pabhatva, then there will be some inclination to cheat others. As I said now, such a person will pretend to assure certain amount of money like you invest 10 lakhs amount of fixed deposit i'll give you 5000 rupees or 10000 rupees as monthly interest and at the end of the year i can give you a huge amount 
often we hear in the news about a scam of thousands of crores of money or hundreds of crores of money. How the needle charge of the people with such a mindset will be? This is our discussion today. Let me display a needle chart on the screen. The needle was born on 31st January 1977 at 5.55 p.m. I repeat the date of birth and time of birth. It is 31st January 1977 at 5.55 p.m. He was born in Coimbatore district. This native was born in Coimbatore district. Now you are seeing the natal chart of a person who is native of Cancer Ascendant. In every natal chart that I explain, I am proving my concepts of Subhatwa and Pabhatwa. Even in my premium video, at the end of my video, I asked a question which profession will a native be displaying a natal chart. I am receiving most of the answers correctly from my followers. I am planning to make a quiz at the end of every premium video displaying the natal chart of a person and let the followers of the premium videos find the profession of the native based on the concept of my Subhatwa and Pabhatwa. Many people have welcomed this idea and appreciated it a lot. Well, even in this natal chart, you can very well find the profession of the native. We can clearly identify in which domain a person works based on the concept of Subhatwa and Pabhatwa. Here is a chart now, the natal chart. He was born in Coimbatore district. On 31-1-1977 at 5.55 p.m. The guy is native of Cancer Ascendant and Saturn resides in the Ascendant house itself. Rahu resides in the 4th house which is Libra and in the 6th house Mercury and Mars are in conjunction in Sagittarius. Venus resides in Pisces in the ninth house. Jupiter and Ketu are in conjunction in Aries in the 10th house and Moon resides in the 12th house in Gemini. In his natal chart, Venus is exalted in Pisces. When Jupiter and Ketu are conjoined, Kala Yoga is formed. In this natal chart, Jupiter and Ketu are conjoined in the 10th house. I have displayed this natal chart as an example for Kela Yoga. He was born in Mrigashira Nakshatra and this is a waxing moon. It is heading towards Purnima, very closely towards Purnima. The moon is very close to Thaipusam. In other words, it is the month of Pausha and the moon is soon going to reach Pushyami Nakshatra just in 3-4 to four days. Though the moon is in 12th house to the ascendant, it is heading very closely towards Purnima and it has good light energy. He was born in Mrigashira Nakshatra. The moon resides on the last pada of the Mrigashira Nakshatra. So how many days will it take to reach Pushyami Nakshatra to become a full moon? There are three stars after Mrigashira, Tiruvadire, Punarpusam and Pusam. That is Ardhra, Punarvasu and Pushyami. So he was just born two days before Purnima. Though the moon is in the 12th house to the ascendant, it is heading very closely towards Purnima. Please note that Kela Yoga is also present in this natal chart. The only shortcoming in this natal chart is that I always reiterate a point that the Lagna and the Lagna house have to be Subhatva. Here Saturn is under the aspect of the Sun just within 3 degrees. The planet which Saturn treats as its worst enemy. If Saturn resides in the Ascendant house, then the person will definitely contemplate about crooked ways. 
either the native will be lazy or will be inclined towards all the crooked ways because saturn is a planet that makes a person think crookedly the next planet that has a hand in thinking crookedly is mars if lagna or lagna lord or subatva then though the thoughts are wrong they will escape from the consequences it is just based on the major planetary period and minor planetary period we can conclude whether a person who will be caught or not as a consequence of his dishonest acts do you think everybody who makes mistakes was caught by others no there are certain people who just suffer a very little punishment and escape and there are some people who never escape from the punishment when he was born the remaining dasha period was 10 months and 21 days when he was 1 year old rahu dasha started rahu is in the best position because it resides in the libra house whose lord venus is exalted in the natal chart and it is also aspected by jupiter by the seventh aspect so here this dasha lord is connected by the two great benefits so rahu dasha was very favorable for him then comes the dasha of jupiter well now let us find out which planet is the most subatva in his natal chart Mars is the planet which is more subatva here because it is aspected by Jupiter and it is also aspected by the moon which is heading very closely towards Purnima Here you can also notice there is a parivartan of Mars and Jupiter There is a parivartan between 6th and 10th house This native has both 6th house and 12th house highly subatva. How is the 12th house subatva? Because the moon which is heading very closely towards Purnima resides in the 12th house. He was born just 2 days before Purnima and such a waxing moon is residing in the 12th house. And the 12th house lord Mercury is aspected by both waxing moon and Jupiter. Here I'm not considering the subatva of the bhava lord rather bhava which is more important. If the 8th bhava is also subatva it had been taken the native in a different way. But here in this natal chart the 8th bhava is neither subatva nor pabatva. right from 23 years of age he is into multi level marketing where he easily gets money from others mars is the planet that signifies marketing he is actually into the field where he collects money from others related to karaka of mars of course this is white collar crime and he got interested in it Then this Jupiter Dasha has delivered hundreds of crore to this native hundreds of crores what is the reason it is kerala yoga the jupiter is under the aspect of saturn jupiter is in kerala yoga it is conjoined with ketu and it is also aspected by saturn here in this natal chart though here lagna is pabatwa Lagna Lord is Subatva. Since his birth, he has undergone the dashas, which were favorable to him, and he lived very comfortably. I always say the dasha and antar dasha should definitely help a person in the growth of their life. The native of Cancer ascendant or the native of Leo ascendant. should never undergo the major planetary period of a planet which is the most unfavorable to them well which planet is the most unfavorable to these ascendants it is nothing but saturn since saturn is aspected by the sun saturn will be very agitated 
He was enjoying his life without any obstacles by cheating others. Yes, of course, it is a right term to describe how he earns money. He earns by cheating others crores of money. And he started facing challenges once the year 2011 started when the Dasha of Saturn started. His financial flow totally got stopped and he almost absconded. Now he is undergoing Ashtamashani. He has been facing a lot of legal issues from the government since 2011. I often reiterate a point in my videos that in general, during Saturn Dasha and Sun Antar Dasha, the native will face legal issues from the government. Being a Leo Ascendant, he faces legal issues with the government during Saturn Dasha and Sun Antar Dasha. The property is given by the father or the rapport that is relationship with the father will be spoiled during Saturn Dasha and Sun Antar Dasha. Here what happened? He grew enmity with the government and his terms with the government are not good. He's facing problems with the government officials, with the government and his asserts were frozen by the government. Since 2011, he has been undergoing Saturn Dasha. His assets exist, but he cannot make use of them. Just imagine how much he would have cheated if I say he has earned hundreds of crores of money. During Saturn's first phase, it will deliver the worst effects to the native. All his assets were frozen and he felt like he was handcuffed and he could not step forward even a single step. Why? What is the reason? Because Saturn will deliver the 8th house effects to the native. For the native of Cancer Ascendant, Saturn is the lord of both the 7th and the 8th house. Saturn definitely delivers its Moultricon house effects. So when the Saturn starts to deliver the 7th house effect, gradually he will get out of his problems. What is the reason? Though the Dasha of Saturn is running, he is going to experience the Antar Dasha of the moon from 2022. If both 6th and 12th houses are Subhatwa in a natal chart, they will definitely retain the properties they earned. If he has earned hundreds of crores of money, at least 10 crores will be retained. He will not definitely become poor. If you put forward a question whether his problems will be solved, I will definitely say yes. Because the next Dasha he is going to experience is Mercury. And Mercury is highly Subhatwa because of the aspect of Jupiter and the aspect of waxing moon. So what he is going to do next? He is going to continue his profession again. Why he will not get rid of the idea of changing his profession? Because Saturn resides in the ascendant house and moon is aspected by Mars. Both are malefic planets. Here Saturn resides in the Ascendant house and Moon is aspected by Mars. So both have become Pabatwa. So he is going to choose his profession again related to multi-level marketing related to 6th house Karaga. Having said this, he is going to experience the Antar Dasha of the Moon. Gradually he will come out of his problems. Since he is going to experience the Antar Dasha of Mars and Rahu as well in future, which are highly Subhatwa under the aspect of Jupiter, definitely he will get back his properties slowly and definitely during Antar Dasha of Rahu, he will dive into his profession again. When the Dasha Lord or Anta Dasha Lord or Subhatwa, definitely the problems will be solved. 
From 2011 until 2022, his life was not good because Saturn is responsible for delivering the eighth house effects, and he has experienced the eighth house effects so far. The sixth house signifies the money from others. I have reiterated this point in many of my videos. Share market is related to sixth house, eighth house, and twelfth house. In the share market, we are not cheating others. In share market business, people do speculation and not cheating. Share market is totally related to sixth house, eighth house, and twelfth house. where you invest money and if the share price increases you are going to gain some money when the 6th house and the 12th house or subhatwa especially when the 6th house is subhatwa it will let the native to earn the money easily by cheating others these are the people who give a lot of empty promises to others and if they invest money today like by emu farming or tea good farming or any such people will get a lot of money in multiplies and they make a false assurance that their clients will get a big money after 10 years or after 15 years as a final bonanza the sixth house lord is strong and it is also in parivartan it is in kerala yoga and in addition to this it is also aspected by saturn this made the native to get inclined to earn money in crooked ways and throughout the dasha of jupiter he earned thousands of crores of money many of my followers constantly question whether they will become a multimillionaire whether they will earn crores of money whether they will travel in expensive cars and i chose this natal chart to display this is the natal chart to explain how people earn in different ways a huge amount of money how will his future be in this natal chart moon mars rahu mercury or all subhatwa except saturn and sun only the dasha of saturn and anta dasha of sun will deliver unfavorable results during the dasha of saturn he absconded and he faced a lot of problems with the government and after this anta dasha of sun definitely he will make some compromise with the government and definitely he will come out of the problems Subhatwa will decide whether you escape without punishment or with very little punishment. If 12th house is Subhatwa, definitely the natal will suffer from imprisonment. If the 12th house is Subhatwa, the natal will escape imprisonment or he might undergo 10 days of imprisonment. If the 12th house is Pabatwa then it will give imprisonment for a long term. Please observe the natal chart of the people who are in jail for many years. Definitely you will find the 12th house to be very Pabatwa. If there are certain people who escape from the crime just by imprisonment of a week or 10 days or a penalty definitely their 12th house will be good having said this since 12th house is very subhatwa in this natal chart he will definitely escape from the punishment and subsequently he will get into his profession again here mercury is more subhatwa and therefore definitely during the dasha of mercury he will definitely get into the same kind of profession In this natal chart Mercury is stronger than Mars and again it is connected to the 6th house. Since the 12th house lord Mercury is also in connection with the 6th house lord Jupiter, Nato will definitely sail in the very same boat earning money through the very same profession. He will not bother about doing such a profession. 
Saturn is residing in the ascendant house. So he will not care about what profession he is doing, whether it is dignified or not. He will definitely have a mindset like, this is the profession that I am going to do. I don't bother about the society, whether it thinks good about me or bad about me. Even recently in a Tamil movie, they showed how people cheat others by the fields such as iridium business, etc. The plot of the story is around the people who do white collar crime. The movie name is Sadranga Vetai. If you observe the natal charts of such people, you will definitely find Subhatva of the 6th house and 12th house and in some cases 8th house also will be Subhatva. Based on the Subhatva of the houses, they will earn money proportionately and in crooked ways. I displayed this natal chart to explain Kerala Yoga and also to explain how people can earn big money through crooked ways. In my next video, I'll come up with a good topic and keep writing your feedback to astro.writetous at gmail.com. Thank you.